Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to win? My name is Pierre Walters, and I want to thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Life Knocks. For those of you who don't know, Life Knocks is just a one-on-one -on -one conversation that I want to have with you at least once a week, where we can talk about things that I'm learning about, things that you're learning about, just really just practical tips, practical bits of insight on how to improve yourself, how to become the best person you want to be, and really, how to make your best even better. So have you ever wondered what it would feel like to win? I know I have. I can honestly say I can't remember a single contest I've ever won. I can't remember any kind of competition, any kind of uh, uh, game, you know, I mean, besides from, besides video games, any kind of sort of group activity where I was actually the legit winner. Not to say that I was ever an illegitimate winner, but that's besides the point. Winning is a very interesting concept, and it's something that a lot of us don't allow ourselves to envision. It's very strange. Now, I'm not suggesting winning the lottery or things like that, although that does have a lot to do with what I'm about to talk about. I'm saying winning at life, winning at the things that you set out for yourself, the goals that you make that only you can complete. Winning, 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 winning. You know, Charlie Sheen, it's Charlie Sheen, right? Yeah, Charlie Sheen. He has been coining that phrase, winning, that term, uh, that word winning like never before. Now, I mean, if you say winning, you are basically uh, channeling Charlie Sheen. And um, but but there's some there's some wisdom to this. And it's, it's very interesting because I wouldn't necessarily associate wisdom to some of the things I've seen Charlie Sheen do. But when it comes to winning, it's something that we are a lot of times very afraid of. You ever kind of go out to that audition and you sort of psych yourself up, I'm going to get this, I'm going to land this, I'm going to, I'm going to, I studied so hard, I'm going to win this audition. And really in the back of your mind, you really know that you just don't want to lose. You're just afraid of losing, but you don't really envision yourself actually winning. It's like you're afraid of losing. Yeah, yeah. But you, you don't actually envision yourself winning. So you're more like preparing yourself for the fall when you do lose, as opposed to preparing yourself for the win when you do win. And that right there is what I want to talk about. Um, I spent a lot of my life, a lot of, a lot of time in my life, um, sort of in direct competition with other people, whether that be as a filmmaker, as a service provider, as a, as a business owner, you know, just, you know, there are people doing the same thing that I'm doing, and we're all trying to get the same clients, you know, and um, so there is that degree of competition, and, and, and I remember I wasn't winning, I wasn't winning. I, I would psych myself up. I would say I would say, you know, things that I could say to myself in the mirror to just sort of get me ready to go so I can get into that meeting and just win and dominate. But you know what? I never really I never really wanted to win. I was always afraid of losing, but never inviting the winning. I was never prepared for the win course that all changed. That all changed when I realized that I don't have any control over my life. That my life, just like yours, is something that is a gift from God. It's not a, a, a thing where you can, you can control what, you know, you know, uh, wh whether, you know, you don't know if you're going to die today or tomorrow. You have no clue. But what I want to sort of bring to your attention is this whole idea that you can prepare yourself for the win. You can prepare yourself for the win. A lot of us spend so much time thinking, what if, what if, what if it doesn't work, what if it doesn't, what if it, whatever. But we don't ever think, what if it does work? Then what? Then what? What if you do land that part? Then what? What if you what if you are given that that huge multi-million dollar budget you need for the film? Then what? Then what? As opposed to, you know what? 
let's lay down the bottom line. Let's create the foundation that we need to support the win because the win is going to happen. You're going to get out there and you will win. But you know what? If you don't have a platform, if you don't have a foundation ready to go so that when you do win, you can win, you are going to be in some pretty bad shape. Um, something I tell producers when we're working together, I say to them, <laughs> I say, if you can't, if you can't do it for free, you don't deserve to get paid. I'll say that one more time. If you can't do it for free, if you won't do it for free, you don't deserve to get paid. It's a very interesting concept because equally true is that if you're good at something, don't do it for free. But what I'm talking about here is more of a matter of principle. It's the idea if that it's the idea that if you if you aren't going to spend the time to 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 do your craft, to do what it is that you said you can do, you should do, you will do and you are doing. If you're not going to spend the time to actually do, then then you don't deserve the reward. You don't deserve to be given the opportunity to go to that next level. It's kind of like a filmmaker. Uh, a, lot, a filmmaker, you know, will say, I want to direct a film. I want to do, I, actually for me, it's my, like my, when I was young, when I was in my early 20s, I had this incredible script that I got my hands on and I got all the permissions I need, the options and everything I needed to get to, to be able to move forward with this script. And I said, I want to make this movie. It was a multi-million dollar film. And I thought, man, without any experience that I could just go in there and get that money and make that movie. And boy, was I wrong. I mean, the whole project crashed and burned terribly. And it crashed and burned because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for the kind of people that I was going to meet. I wasn't prepared for the kinds of deals that I was going to have to make. I wasn't prepared to have the tough conversations about things like locations, other countries, tax incentives, uh, um, uh, team building, uh, uh, union content, things like that. I was, I was not prepared to have those kinds of conversations, and yet I thought that I was prepared to make a multi-million dollar film. Are you in that same boat? Do any of you even know what I'm talking about? Do you have sort of visions of grandeur, uh, but you, but you don't really, you're not, you're not taking the time to really build that foundation. Do you want to sing? But do you have any albums? Do you want to become a major motion picture film star? But do you have a demo reel? Do you wanna, do you wanna uh, become a, 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 a film director like me? I mean, but bigger probably, a big, huge, you know, film director like Michael Bay. But you haven't directed anything yet. I mean. Do we? Do you have these sort of visions of grandeur where you haven't really paved the way? You haven't really prepared like you should? There is nothing more important, in my opinion, than preparing yourself to win. Because as long as you're prepared, when you get your chance, and everybody gets a chance... When you get your chance, you will blow it. You will blow it. You will blow it miserably. The good news is that everybody gets a chance. The bad news is that not everybody gets more than one chance. So if you want to make the most, if you want to make the best out of the chance that you are given, whenever that chance does come, you have got to start right now by preparing yourself for it. You've got to start right now by building your brand, building who it is that you want to be, building that individual, that person, that company, building it now so that when you get the chance, you're ready to win. If you like what you see and you want to be a part of our ongoing conversation, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, please visit our daily blog at www.blue-artist.com.